Hey guys, back with another pedal PCB review. This time it's the Van Pelt Drive. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, as always, I wanna remind you to subscribe down below and make sure to click that bell icon so you get all of my latest notifications. So this week we are starting on a journey of three different pedal PCB builds. Uh, these builds will actually look at how pedal PCB is cloning pedals that clone Marshall amplifiers. So that is the Van Pelt Drive, which is a clone of the JHS Charlie Brown. Uh, in future weeks, we're gonna look at an Angry Charlie clone, which is the Angry Charles by pedal PCB. And finally, the Andy Timmons or the at symbol pedal by JHS that is the Angry Andy by pedal PCB. So this week, as I said, we're gonna be looking at the Van Pelt Drive which is a clone of the JHS Charlie Brown. Uh, I've called mine the OD OD, which is, I guess, an ode to Garfield, if you guys remember the, the cartoon from years ago. Uh, I've, I've kept the same color combination for my case as well. Uh, I did wanna just kind of link these three pedals uh, directly to those pedals that were produced by JHS. So a little bit about the Van Pelt Drive and what it's trying to do. Uh, the Van Pelt Drive is trying to model a JTM 45 Marshall amplifier. So this is more of a low gain or high boost type pedal. Um, the Van Pelt Drive does provide you with a, a few options. It's got the three band EQ here, bass, middle and treb. You've got your volume knob and then the ever important gain or drive knob. Um, this circuit is based, based around some uh, transistor based boost circuits. I think there's also a buffer in the beginning, and then it all feeds into a, uh, a op amp package, a TL072 op amp package at the end of the circuit. Um, there's no clipping in this, in this circuit, so you're not getting any of those high, uh, high clipping uh, distortion type sounds, and you're not even getting the you know, mid clipping that you might see in a normal overdrive pedal where they put the diodes in the feedback loop of say, an op amp. So taking a look inside the enclosure, you can see we have our board here from Pedal PCB, as well as an additional pinout board that I purchased separately for my three-pole double throw switch. Everything fits nicely into a 125B case, and with the drilling template that's provided by Pedal PCB for this build, you can mount your audio in and audio out jacks, as well as your DC input on the top of the pedal, which I really like it. Uh, it just makes your pedal board a little bit cleaner when you get these on the top. Something I can't normally do with my 1590B cases that I'm usually building pedals in, but uh, I really do like it with these 125B cases. Additionally, you can see in this build, I've also switched from the open audio jacks to the closed off ones. I think I might go with these go, uh, moving forward. I definitely will on the next two builds that I'm going to do that model those JHS pedals. I just find everything is a little bit cleaner and I don't have to worry about things shorting out as much. Um, obviously, when I get to some tighter pedals, they might not work because they are a little bit longer, but I really do like them in this scenario, uh, especially with the top mounted jacks, everything just seems to fit in there nicely. As for components, there was nothing really crazy in this build, a uh, lot of resistors, so make sure you have a good batch of different valued resistors. Other than that, it's pretty much just your standard capacitor values. It's a TLO72 op amp. Um, be sure to check out the, the docs that are provided by Pedal PCB. They'll list all the components you need. So you want to make sure you have those before you uh, start this build. So I did videotape the whole build process for this one. I'm going to show you guys that now and I'll follow it up with a demo of the pedal. Uh, just want to give you my first impressions on it. Um, very clean, clean pedal. Um, there's a gain knob for sure, but like I said, you're really not going to get those high gain distortion like sounds or even those really crunchy overdrive sounds. This is to me uh, a boost pedal, a really high boost pedal. So it will break up a little bit, but more or less it's a boost pedal. Um, with my single coil guitars, I think I'm gonna demo it into my blues breaker or my Marshall style amp, just because there's a little bit of a drive already built into that amp. And I think adding a boost can really enhance it when using a single coil guitar. So with that, I'm gonna take you through the build start to finish, and we're gonna finish off with a demo of the Van Pelt Drive by Pedal PCB.